The French Embassy of South Africa has announced that three South African artificial intelligence startups will be exhibiting their products at this year's AI Expo Africa 2020. They were selected at last year's Young Enterprise Initiative. The French Embassy launched the YEI South Africa in 2016 in partnership with the Technology Innovation Agency with the intention of providing South African startups with the opportunity to develop and grow their businesses in France. The AI Expo Africa is now in its third year and is the largest business-focused artificial intelligence, robotic process automation and data science event in Africa. Now, the online conference and expo will run on the, between the 3rd and the 4th of September this year and builds upon the phenomenal success of the 2018 and 2019 events that were held in Cape Town. But to tell us more, we are joined via Skype by Nick Bradshaw, who is the co-founder of the AI Expo. Nick, uh, very good morning to you. Thanks for joining us. Welcome. Thanks for having me. First of all, tell us what the AI Expo entails and why you saw a gap to create this event. Um, well, the, the, the event exists mainly because um, about three years ago, when we were looking at the, 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 the landscape in Africa for um, gatherings of, of, of technologists to come together, they were very, very technically focused and very academic. So we actually saw an opportunity to create a, a business-focused event, so bringing buyers and suppliers of technology together. And, uh, and that's all the, uh, the genesis of, of the show. So really, it came because there was a gap in the market and, uh, and we filled it. You know, Nick, uh, uh, information technology, uh, particularly AI, is much more broad and multifaceted. So uh, which ones of these facets are you targeting? Well, essentially, artificial intelligence as a, as a discipline is actually going to impact every part of industry and, and probably every part of society in the future. So in, in terms of the, the markets that are, are coming to the, to the show, we have everybody from banking, insurance, uh, retail, healthcare, um, finance, um, banking, etc. So yeah, I mean, essentially, it's covering the entire spectrum. Um, and artificial intelligence will, will impact us all at some point. Now, take us through the startups that we'll be exhibiting this year. How did you go about selecting them? Sorry, I, I just, you just broke up a little bit there. Could you repeat the question? Take us through uh, some of the startups that we'll be exhibiting this year. Uh, well, the question is, how did you go about selecting them? Well, I, I mean, essentially, we, we talked to all, all um, players in the industry, ranging from startups right up to, to large global software companies like, like Microsoft and Amazon and, and, and IBM, obviously the sort of companies that, that everybody has heard of. But there are multiple um, smaller companies now which are coming to, to the market, obviously here in South Africa, but also in Kenya, Ghana, Nigeria, Egypt, Tunisia, Senegal, Morocco. So all, all corners of the African continent. And, and so we, through our community and the community of communities, I mean, in our logo, you can see that we connecting the dots up across Africa. We talked to all of these communities and we asked them which, which new companies are coming um, to the fore and, and have a product or a service they wish to offer. And then we introduced them into the, um, in, into the conference. Um, this year, we've obviously gone online. So it's, it's much easier for a smaller company now to, to, to join the conference, which is an e-conference now. There's no need to fly. There's no need to book a hotel. Um, Obviously, there's no COVID risk as well, so you can mm -hmm. run and join the show from, from your own laptop. So essentially, the startups that we have joining um, are, are from um, many diverse um, parts of the industry. And speaking of the COVID risk that I've just mentioned, I understand that uh, it will have four main online speaking tracks and as well as a, an expo hall. Take us through how this will be happening. Well, that's right. Uh, COVID has uh, created a, a whole new series of challenges for everybody globally at the moment. And organizers like ourselves have had that same challenge. So, conference runs as an online e-conference. It means that you can log on as a delegate or a, a speaker or a sponsor. The, you have a, a, an electronic booth. So just like a, a real event, you, you have a booth that the delegates can visit. And they can go up and interact with, uh, with the members of the booth and they can um, have a video conversation, a, a text-based conversation. 
you can download information and you can have we have a networking area so you can go and meet other delegates um, the speaking tracks include innovation demos case studies and, and we're trying to actually show the real world use of these technologies so it's very much about what you can buy now and um, and, and matching those suppliers of those technologies with buyers of those technologies and it's all happening online this year in September right now Nick please stay on the line I will certainly pick up on this conversation in a moment uh, but for now let me uh, welcome into this conversation Matthew Becu uh, he's the attaché for innovation at the French Institute Matthew a very good morning to you first of all uh, please uh, pardon me for butchering your name and surname please help us with the correct pronunciation of your name Yes. Um, so firstly, um, I would like to thank you for the invitation. I'm very delighted to, 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 to be here today and to be able to answer to your question. So my surname is Mathieu and my name is uh, Becu. So, so take us through what the French Embassy's role is in the AI Expo. So um, we have decided this year to, 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 to invest and to, to reinforce our commitment in this Artificial Intelligence Expo uh, because this is the only a real uh, B2B artificial intelligence uh, summit in South Africa. And we have decided to, 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 to give the opportunity for some young South African startups to be able to come and to expose their uh, activity um, in, the, in the summit. This is one of the main activities that we will have this year, the artificial intelligence expo. Well, the YEI was founded in 2005 as an accelerator for, you know, for science startups looking to develop and grow their businesses in France and Europe. So how does it assist with the growth of these businesses? Okay, so uh, thank you so much. The Year Enterprise Initiative is funded by the French Ministry of Foreign Affairs and it's part of a bigger pro project that we have been developing by the French diplomatic network to support French and foreign companies. Um, this program, which has formed uh, in 2005 by the French embassy in Boston, is a real accelerator for young science-based companies that are willing to grow their business in France and Europe. The program provides a tailor week in France, including trading session network and a one-on-one meeting allowing the laureate to benefit from an extensive business network and connection to the best businesses in Europe. All right. Nick, so, so, yeah. Yeah. Yes. Nick. Nick, let me also bring you into this conversation. I mean, in a world that is moving more, uh, you know, that is moving digital more, is this perhaps an avenue that people are, are exploring in terms of fitting into our daily lives? Well, very much so. I mean, uh, you know, we, we have these technologies starting to emerge into our lives now. Um, you know, when you speak, if you speak into your smartphone, um, you know, there's uh, obviously very advanced technology now. Uh, phones are becoming more and more like supercomputers in, in your pocket. So, uh, you know, wh whether we like it or not, uh, and whether we know it or not, we, we, we are beginning to interact with these technologies. And what we're seeing in business is now businesses are starting to deploy these technologies at the interface with their customers, for example, um, automating their business processes, so that things that place of work um, can be done more efficiently or in an automated fashion. So, so knowingly or unknowingly, we, we are all now as a society starting to uh, embrace these technologies. And, and the project with the, with the French Embassy, a new thing this year where we're trying to work together to get some of the smaller companies and innovators in, in the African continent and South Africa to 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 take those products to market. So it, it's it's a great partnership. You know, your business audience is buyer supplier focused, and I understand it will be comprised of enterprise decision makers. Take us through uh, the scale of the discussions or the kind of interaction that will be there, and uh, who will be interacting with who, and uh, the kind of conversations that will be taking place there. Well, uh, last year we had over a thousand delegates at, at the show, and this year with our online format, we're obviously trying to, to 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 go higher in terms of numbers. So, certainly from a from a kind of numbers perspective, that gives you an idea of the scale of the uh, of the event. Also, interesting here, um, we, we we're running a two day live event, and then we're running a thirty day um, archive of the event. Now, the archive will be used to reach a much broader, larger community of young people who offer this um, platform as a learning environment. Um, 
So uh, essentially, it, 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 it's actually two shows in one this year, the live business show and then a 30-day learning environment for, for young people. Now, we, we hope to, to, to reach between five and 15,000 young people through that aspect of the show. So this year, the online platform that we're using really allows the, the, the business discussion um, to, to be truly continental. And uh, that's something we're very, um, we're very happy about. All right, Becky, uh, what do you think this platform means for the startups that you have selected to exhibit this year? Okay, so this startup is very, um, this summit is very important for this startup for, for very different reasons. Um, like I would like to maybe underline is the fact that uh, Mihai Expo, uh, as I said at the beginning, is the only real B2B summit dedicated exclusively to artificial intelligence technology. And um, the high export scheme, and I'm thinking here, of course, about Nick and Roy, has very valuable knowledge of the artificial intelligence community on the continent. And this allows uh, to attract very high level personalities with whom it's interesting for our team and partners to exchange with. And the team submits give us a very special attention with regard to the different requirements that we and this is highly appreciated. And so, um, yes, lastly, maybe this summit has a large audience um, that allows us to communicate very effectively on the various initiatives that we are carrying out, which is very uh, important for us, of course. And uh, I would like really to, to, to thank Nick for that. Yeah, now, Becky, just before I let you go, I mean, this expo is in its third year. So how has it grown in terms of exhibitors, buyers, suppliers, and innovators? Yeah, I mean, uh, we ran the first show in 2018, and, and, and you know, that was, um, that was a face-to-face -face event in Cape Town, and we, we had um, just over 700 delegates, and I think we had something like 250 companies attending. Last year, we had over 1,000. We had 375 companies attending. Uh, this year, we've sold tickets as far as Singapore to San Francisco, and um, we, we've got um, companies joining us from Europe as well this year. So I, I think, yeah, it's going to be bigger than, bigger than last year. All right, uh, gentlemen, thank you so much for your time, uh, Nick and uh, Becky. We really appreciate your time. Thank you so much. Thanks very much. That was uh, Nick Bradshaw and uh, Matthew Becky talking to us about the three startups that will be exhibiting at this year's Artificial Intelligence Expo set to take place in September.